Hello and welcome. Are you ready to embark on a journey deep into the depths of our hearts? This video will take you into the captivating world of Sufism. Sufism is a mystical teaching known not only in the Islamic world, but around the world. We will take a closer look at the basic principles and teachings of Sufism, witness the lives of great Sufis such as Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi, and delve into Sufism's relationship with other religions. We will also explore the music, literature, and rituals of Sufism. What is Sufism's connection to the modern world? We will take a detailed look into this as well. If you're ready, let's start our journey together into this teaching that illuminates our hearts. Sufism is a mystical tradition within Islam that emphasizes the personal experience of the divine and the attainment of inner purity and enlightenment. Sufism's teachings focus on the pursuit of spiritual knowledge and the development of the heart, which is seen as the seat of the soul. Sufi practitioners seek to achieve a direct personal experience of God through meditation, chanting, and other spiritual practices. Sufism emphasizes the importance of love, compassion, and humility, and seeks to transcend the material world in pursuit of the ultimate truth. Sufism is not a separate sect of Islam, but rather an approach to the faith that is practiced by individuals within various Islamic traditions. Sufism places a great emphasis on the importance of love, faith, and devotion in the pursuit of spiritual knowledge and enlightenment. Love, in particular, is regarded as the most important of these three teachings, as it is seen as the highest expression of the soul's connection to God. Sufi practitioners believe that the ultimate goal of the spiritual path is to achieve a state of complete union with God, and that love is the means by which this union is attained. Faith and devotion are also seen as essential to the Sufi path, as they provide the foundation for the pursuit of spiritual knowledge and the development of the heart. Sufi teachings emphasize that faith and devotion must be rooted in a deep understanding of the divine, and that this understanding can only be achieved through personal experience and spiritual practice. Through these teachings, Sufism offers a path to the attainment of inner peace, enlightenment, and the realization of the ultimate truth. The Sufi path is based on the principles of Tasawwuf, which is the mystical aspect of Islam. The basic principles of Tasawwuf include 1. 
Tafid, Oneness of God. The belief in the oneness of God is central to Sufi teachings and is seen as the foundation of all spiritual practice. 2. Asan, Excellence in Worship. Sufis strive for excellence in worship and seek to cultivate a deep and personal relationship with God through spiritual practices such as prayer, fasting, and charity. 3. Taskia, Purification of the Self. Sufis believe that the ultimate goal of spiritual practice is to purify the self, or nafs, of negative qualities such as greed, anger, and ego. Sufis emphasize the importance of trusting in God and believe that true surrender to God is the key to spiritual progress. 5. Sabah, Patience and Perseverance. Sufis understand that the spiritual path can be long and difficult, and emphasize the importance of patience and perseverance in overcoming obstacles and attaining spiritual growth. Through these principles, Sufis seek to attain a state of inner purity and enlightenment, and ultimately to achieve a direct and personal experience of God. Sufism emerged within the Islamic world in the 8th century CE, and its origins are rooted in the teachings of early Islamic mystics and ascetics. The term Sufi is derived from the Arabic word for wool, suf, and is believed to refer to the coarse woolen garments worn by early Sufi practitioners as a symbol of their renunciation of worldly pleasures. The early Sufis were influenced by a range of spiritual traditions, including Greek philosophy, Christian mysticism, and Indian mysticism. Sufism also drew upon the teachings of early Islamic figures such as Imam Ali and Hassan al-Basri, who emphasized the importance of personal spiritual practice and the purification of the soul. Over time, Sufism developed into a distinct and influential tradition within Islam, with its own unique practices and teachings. Sufism became particularly prominent during the Golden Age of Islam, which lasted from the 8th to the 14th century, and during which time many of the most famous Sufi masters and poets lived and taught. Today, Sufism is practiced throughout the Islamic world and beyond, and has had a profound influence on a range of spiritual traditions, including Christianity, Judaism, and Hinduism. Sufi teachings continue to inspire and guide countless individuals in their pursuit of spiritual growth and enlightenment. Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi is one of the most famous Sufi poets and mystics of all time. Born in 1207 in what is now Afghanistan, Rumi spent much of his life in the city of Konya, in present-day Turkey. Rumi was a scholar and theologian, but it was his encounter with the wandering dervish Shams al-Din that transformed his life and set him on the path of Sufism. Rumi's poetry, which is characterized by its profound spiritual insights and mystical imagery, has had a lasting impact on the world. His most famous work, the Masnavi, is considered one of the greatest works of Sufi literature and has been translated into numerous languages. Rumi's teachings emphasize the importance of love and the pursuit of divine knowledge, and he believed that the human soul could transcend the limitations of the physical world through spiritual practice and contemplation. Rumi also believed in the power of music and dance as a means of achieving spiritual ecstasy, and his followers continue to practice the whirling dance known as the Sema as a form of spiritual meditation and devotion. Today, Rumi is revered as a spiritual master by followers of many different faiths, and his teachings continue to inspire and guide countless individuals in their pursuit of spiritual growth and enlightenment. Sufi music and rituals are an integral part of the Sufi tradition and are often used as a means of achieving spiritual ecstasy and connection with the divine. Music, dance, and chanting are all important elements of Sufi rituals and are often used in conjunction with meditation and prayer. One of the most famous Sufi rituals is the Sema, or the Whirling Dance. The Sema is performed by members of the Mevlevi order which was founded by the Sufi master Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi. The dance is a form of spiritual meditation and devotion, 
and is believed to represent the journey of the soul as it seeks union with the divine. Music is also an important part of the tradition and encompasses a wide range of styles and forms. Kawali, for example, is a form of devotional music that originated in South Asia and is characterized by its lively rhythms and call and response structure. Other forms of Sufi music include Nasayat, which is a form of Islamic vocal music, and Madi, which is a form of Arabic praise poetry. Sufi music and rituals continue to be practiced throughout the world and are an important way for individuals to connect with the divine and to deepen their spiritual practice. Sufism is often described as the mystical dimension of Islam and is deeply rooted in the teachings and practices of the religion. Sufis believe in the oneness of God and the importance of following the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, and they strive to deepen their connection with the divine through spiritual practice and contemplation. At the same time, however, Sufism has also been characterized by a degree of independence and flexibility, and has often been seen as a response to the rigid legalism and formalism that can sometimes be associated with mainstream Islamic practice. Sufis emphasize the importance of individual spiritual experience and intuition, and believe that the inner dimensions of faith are just as important as the outward observance of religious rituals. Despite this, Sufism has often been subject to criticism and controversy within the Islamic world. Some have accused Sufis of engaging in practices that are inconsistent with Islamic law, or of promoting unorthodox beliefs and practices. Others have seen Sufism as a threat to the political and religious establishment, and have sought to suppress it or marginalize its followers. Despite these challenges, however, Sufism has continued to thrive as a vital and influential force within the Islamic world. Today, Sufi communities and traditions can be found throughout the world, and continue to offer a rich and diverse array of spiritual teachings, practices, and insights. Sufism has had a complex and varied relationship with other religions throughout its history. On the one hand, Sufis have often emphasized the universality of the divine message and have sought to find common ground with other religious traditions. Many Sufi teachers have emphasized the importance of recognizing the spiritual insights and wisdom that can be found in other faiths and have encouraged their followers to explore and learn from the teachings of other religions. At the same time, however, Sufis have also been deeply rooted in the Islamic tradition and have often viewed other religions through the lens of their own faith. Sufis have historically been critical of certain aspects of other religions, particularly those that conflict with their own theological or philosophical positions. For example, Sufis have often been critical of the Hindu caste system, which they view as inconsistent with the Islamic emphasis on the equality of all human beings. Despite these differences, however, Sufism has often played a bridge-building role between different religious traditions. Sufi teachers and communities have frequently served as a meeting point between Muslims and members of other faiths, and have helped to promote greater understanding and cooperation between different religious groups. Today, Sufi communities and teachings can be found throughout the world, and continue to offer a rich and diverse perspective on spirituality and the nature of the divine. While there are certainly differences between Sufism and other religious traditions, there is also much that can be learned and appreciated from these diverse perspectives. Sufism has a rich tradition of literature and poetry, which has played an important role in shaping the beliefs, practices, and culture of the tradition. Sufi literature and poetry often explore themes related to spiritual insight, mysticism, love, and the search for the divine. Many of the most famous works in the Sufi canon are written in poetry form, and are often characterized by their use of metaphor, 
symbolism, and other literary devices. Perhaps the most famous Sufi poet is Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi, whose works have had a profound impact on Sufi culture and spirituality. Rumi's poetry emphasizes the importance of love, devotion, and spiritual insight, and has been celebrated for its ability to capture the beauty and mystery of the divine. Other famous Sufi poets include Hafiz, Atta, and Saadi, all of whom have left an enduring legacy in the world of literature. In addition to poetry, Sufi literature also includes a range of other genres, including prose works, treatises, and spiritual manuals. Many of these works emphasize the importance of spiritual practice and self-discipline, and provide detailed instructions on how to cultivate the inner qualities necessary for spiritual growth and insight. Overall, Sufi literature and poetry have played a vital role in shaping the beliefs and practices of the tradition, and have inspired countless generations of seekers to explore the mysteries of the divine. Today, these works continue to be studied, celebrated, and appreciated by people all over the world. Sufi teachers and orders. Sufism has a rich history of teachers and orders, which have played an important role in transmitting the teachings and practices of the tradition from one generation to the next. Sufi teachers, known as sheikhs or murshids, have traditionally served as guides and mentors for their disciples, helping them to navigate the challenges of the spiritual path and providing them with the tools and insights they need to grow and develop. Sufi orders, also known as tarikas, are organized around a particular teacher or lineage, and typically involve a specific set of teachings, practices, and rituals. Each order has its own distinct flavor and emphasis, and may focus on different aspects of Sufi practice, such as meditation, chanting, or service to others. Some of the most famous Sufi orders include the Kadiri, Chishti, Naxbandi, and Mevlavi orders, each of which has its own unique history and traditions. These orders have played an important role in spreading the teachings of Sufism throughout the Muslim world and beyond, and have helped to shape the culture and spirituality of countless communities and individuals. Today, Sufi teachers and orders continue to play an important role in the world of spirituality, offering guidance, support, and inspiration to seekers from all walks of life. Whether through personal instruction, community gatherings, or online resources, Sufi teachers and orders offer a wealth of knowledge and wisdom to those who seek to deepen their understanding of the divine. Despite its ancient roots, Sufism has a unique connection to the modern world. As a spiritual tradition that emphasizes love, compassion, and service to others, Sufism has much to offer in a world that is increasingly fractured and divided. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in Sufism among people from all walks of life, as more and more people seek out ways to connect with the divine and find meaning and purpose in their lives. Sufi teachings and practices, such as mindfulness, gratitude, and selflessness, have become popular topics of study and discussion, and have been embraced by people of all religious backgrounds. Sufism has also had a profound impact on the arts, particularly music, poetry, and dance. Sufi music and poetry, in particular, have captured the hearts and minds of people around the world, and have been used as a powerful tool for healing, transformation, and spiritual growth. Despite its many contributions to the modern world, Sufism is often misunderstood and misrepresented, particularly in the West. Some people see Sufism as a mystical and exotic tradition that is out of step with the modern world, while others view it as a relic of a bygone era that has little relevance to contemporary life. 
In reality, however, Sufism is a dynamic and living tradition that continues to evolve and adapt to the changing needs of the times. Its teachings and practices have much to offer to people of all ages and backgrounds, and its emphasis on love, compassion, and service to others remains as relevant today as it ever has been. Sufism plays an important role in the world today, offering a path towards spiritual growth, personal transformation, and social harmony. As the world becomes increasingly divided and polarized, the teachings and practices of Sufism offer a powerful antidote to the forces of hatred and fear. One of the key contributions of Sufism to the modern world is its emphasis on love, compassion, and service to others. By cultivating these qualities within themselves, Sufis seek to create a more peaceful, just, and equitable world for all people. Sufis are often involved in charitable work and community service, seeking to alleviate the suffering of those in need and to promote social justice and human rights. Another important aspect of Sufism is its emphasis on inner transformation and personal growth. Through practices such as meditation, prayer, and contemplation, Sufis seek to cultivate a deeper awareness of themselves and the world around them. By transcending their ego and connecting with the divine, Sufis are able to overcome their own limitations and become a source of light and inspiration for others. Sufism also has an important role to play in fostering interfaith dialogue and understanding. By emphasizing the commonalities between different religious traditions and focusing on the shared spiritual values that underlie them, Sufis seek to promote peace and cooperation among people of all faiths. Despite its many contributions, Sufism is often misunderstood and marginalized in the modern world. Some people view it as a relic of the past with little relevance to contemporary life, while others see it as a threat to established religious and political institutions. However, as the world continues to face new challenges and crises, the teachings and practices of Sufism offer a powerful means of overcoming division and conflict and creating a more harmonious and compassionate world for all. Despite its many positive contributions to the world, Sufism is often subject to misconceptions and prejudices. Some of the most common misconceptions about Sufism include, Sufism is a separate religion from Islam, Sufism is actually a spiritual practice within Islam, and its teachings and practices are deeply rooted in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad. Sufism is a secret, esoteric tradition, while some aspects of Sufism are indeed kept private and only shared with initiates, the core teachings and practices are widely available to anyone who seeks them. Sufism is a passive, otherworldly practice. Sufism actually encourages active engagement with the world and seeks to cultivate qualities such as courage, compassion, and selflessness in its practitioners. Sufism is a monolithic tradition. In reality, Sufism is a diverse and dynamic tradition, with many different schools of thought, practices, and beliefs. Sufism is incompatible with modernity. While some aspects of Sufism may be seen as traditional or old-fashioned, its core teachings and practices are highly relevant to the challenges of the modern world. Prejudices towards Sufism can also take many forms, from outright hostility to subtle forms of discrimination. In some countries, Sufis are subject to persecution or discrimination because of their religious beliefs or practices. In other contexts, Sufism may be viewed with suspicion or skepticism because of its perceived association with mystical or esoteric practices. Despite these challenges, however, Sufism continues to play an important role in the spiritual and social life of many people around the world, 
offering a path towards greater wisdom, compassion, and inner peace. Dear viewers, we hope that this video has shed light on the beauty, wisdom, and significance of Sufism. From its basic principles of love, faith, and devotion, to its rich history and literature, to the various teachers and orders that have shaped it over the centuries, we have attempted to provide a comprehensive overview of this spiritual tradition. We have also explored the relationship between Sufism and other religions, as well as its place in the modern world. We have discussed some of the misconceptions and prejudices towards Sufism and attempted to dispel them by emphasizing the message of peace, compassion, and inner transformation that lies at the heart of this tradition. We hope that this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of Sufism, and that it has inspired you to learn more about this beautiful and profound spiritual path. Whether you are a seeker on the path of Sufism or simply curious about this fascinating tradition, we encourage you to continue exploring its teachings and practices, and to keep an open heart and mind. Thank you for watching, and may the blessings of the Divine be with you always.